Hi and welcome to C-Sharp Temperature Converter. I've entered two different methods of converting temperature right here. The first one is with a drop down list. There I've used a combo box. So all you just need to do is to enter maybe to convert minus 4 degrees Celsius. When you convert that to Fahrenheit, this is what you get. And then you can also check that out here. Let's say we have minus 4. Yeah is working as uh, expected so i just feel maybe i should share it with you i think it's good we can verify and see if it's right or wrong there are two different method of programming here or two different method of coding so let me show you guys the code or if you want maybe we just develop a different one from scratch so why not let's do that okay let's create a new one from scratch Okay, I'm starting a new project now, so I just selected my Windows Phone applications. Just uh, give it a name, Term Converter. Click on OK. All right, that's my form right there. Just drag it to so that I have enough uh, room for the components that I intend to use. All right, that's about right. Okay, in this case, let me see if I can try something new. Let's go for split container. Right? It. okay let's see maybe this will work if it doesn't work we can always uh, reduce it all right okay i have my split container in place so this part would be for a different method and this would be for another method so the next thing i will do now is uh, let me just yeah that looks a bit all right um let me now yeah, okay let's try out uh, let's get this form center look for the form's property right here and then uh, the first place just give that a temperature conversion Temp temperature converter or maybe conversion something like that okay now for the start position get the start position centered there all right now let's insert the text box get a text box in there this text box is going to it's not going to work as expected see what i mean so i'm going to have to get two of those select the property of the text box maybe delete that and just insert two different text box let's go to label enter a text box here so change both property to something readable uh, let's go for maybe 48 yeah 48 bold. so the first one will be that change change that to c sharp temperature okay move it this way and the other one just be conversion or convert conversion conversion table okay that's fine that's whatever that's all right close that let's see yeah that's fine c sharp temperature conversion table so if i run this program now this is what we get and here i just enter my rest component i need a button right here then we need a drop down list combo box yeah right there label let's go for a label yeah that's for our output there we need a text box one text box text box there okay so just a brief modification taking place so the next part of it just enter as follows as well so that's the next part of it that's how it looks okay one important thing is this label right here I enter zero for the property and here 32 then this horizontal scroll bar right there if you look at the value the value is minus 60 and minimum value of the property is also minus 60 why the maximum is 100 and that's it make sure those properties are set the next thing is let's start with the coding of this very first part okay let me start with the form load with the form load as i will enter my combo box right here okay when that loads up dot items the items yeah that's right dot add i would like it to add celsius okay that's for the combo box and i also would like it to enter fahrenheit so you just change this to fahrenheit that's correct then this one will be covered all right okay the next part of it, the program is to double click on the text box this very text box right here uh let me okay i would like this very button look at this button here this one let's see what's the name of that button it's called button one all right so i want that very button one button one 
dot enable make that first so that's button one all right that the m at the end okay that's fine now so i will then go into this text box right there double click on that text box and ask that text box make sure this property is set text change and change that to equals true and that's that that will take care of that then the next part of it is select the form now double click on the combo box itself right there and make sure the select item is there i will use if statement here if combo box one dot the text equals equals celsius make sure the spelling is right with whatever you have up here as there will be an error okay i think that's right i'm gonna just copy this one and you use the pipe combo box two that same combo box sorry combo box one equals that it's a pipe combo box equals kelvin in this case kelvin is another method of temperature conversion just in case okay that's it let's get rid of this so that you see that all right so i have if the combo box equals this or this or this let's enter a coil bracket there all right then we want the following calculation we want the following to happen in this case text box text box one let it be focus dot focus enter in parentheses because this is c sharp with the c sharp we might end up with error okay the next thing is to start with the main coding for the button so let's start with declaring the for following variables let's say c temp okay that is for my celsius copy that fahrenheit and kelvin just change that to f and this to k all right those are local variables so i would then say c temp c temp equals double double dot cross text box one dot text close that so what we happen is the system will select whatever data type is supposed to represent that's the main purpose of this all right then and i'll use an if statement right here if combo box if the combo box dot text equals i use double equals because it has to compare it to make sure the right selection is made equals that carry out the following calculation so if you don't know the formula for celsius you can always find that out on the system so I'll say the this is the formula anyway so in that case that would be 5.0 divided by 9.0 so enter the c temperature because it's stored in here you can see whatever you enter in text box is stored inside that variable so you minus that by 32 and close enter your then the next thing is the label let's check out the name of this label what is this label called it's called label 3 okay label 3 we want the result inside label 3 so you say label 3 dot text equals you must convert your answer to string so say convert convert dot string there enter f10 close it and that is the first part of this system taken care of here there's a error here there's supposed to be multiplying yeah that's it now correct okay that is fine so that's the very first part of it then you can just copy this and repeat exactly the same thing else if is the if is a uh, Fahrenheit all you need to do is change this to 9 and this to 5 and here becomes plus but the difference is take this off take this off and that is the Fahrenheit okay if we want it to be Celsius the formula for Celsius is a little bit different now uh, the formula for Kelvin sorry Kelvin so this is that that and that of Kelvin all you do is come down here paste that scroll right down this is this shouldn't be taking that long let's change it to K and here will become a K too and the formula in this case would be four of those multiply by this then 
that divide that by 5 plus 32 plus 273.15 close that and I think that will be all ok we have this divided by this multiply by this missing ok that's it that's the that is the first part of this temperature converter taken care of so if I run the program run it again select Celsius and let's say minus 40 we give you minus 40 so that's just our checkpoint that's why I'm using that all right so the next thing is uh, let's deal with the coding of the second part double click on the exit and just say application right here dot exit make sure you enter open and close bracket or parenthesis right there and we then start by double clicking on that and the scroll bar and first thing let me have two variables up here double i say double 10 f okay so the other one would just be c and just that one becomes c right there the capital letter and come right down here and start by saying 10f equals horizontal scroll bar is that right there dot value enter to make column so the label what's the name of this label I need the name of this label as label 6 and label 7 okay so let's go and I'll say label label 6 dot text equals equals convert dot to string equals 10 now the next thing we need to now do is sorry take that off and we say and c right there equals convert dot to int 32 and what we convert into int 32 in this case is a variable minus 32 okay multiply by 5 divided by 9 and enter that in there then uh, we now say label label 7 right here label 7 dot text equals convert convert dot to string string 10 c and that would be all so the only thing we have to do for the second one is just to copy all of this right here copy it and change the event here so change that event to a value so let's go to the form select the horizontal scroll bar come to the event right there and look for value change right here that's it click on value change maybe if you press enter paste all of that in there and i guess that's all that'll be all for this very program okay so let's try it out run the program okay uh, let me use my regular checkpoint minus 40 is always minus 40 let's give it a shot what is minus 40 here let's see that yeah that is correct minus 40 is minus 40 and let's check out something else maybe five okay let's see five right there what is five here So who am I dealing with? We have to be sure whoever we're dealing with. Five. And let's change that to Fahrenheit and see. That's it. That is correct. So guys, that's how you develop temperature conversion in two different ways using the horizontal scroll bar labels and right here combo box text box label buttons and a button and right here are the lines of codes okay let's close this so that you can see it properly come right down right there and that'll be all however if you need these codes I'm gonna copy it now 
and I will forward it to you guys. The C sharp temperature conversion. There. Have a nice day.